What's up, stock traders? My name is Mike Huddy, and I turned 20 racks into $1.5 million trading penny stocks. And now I want to teach you to do the same. Welcome. This is Stock Therapy. What's up, stock traders? My name is Mike Huddy, and in today's video lesson, I wanna go over two promoters very significant in my trading, liquidity and trend. If you like what you hear and you wanna see another video lesson, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you are notified of the next video lesson when it comes out. So again, in today's video lesson, we're gonna be going over liquidity and trend. And I wanna show you quite visibly on a chart what liquidity looks like. We're gonna go over two different examples, uh, one ticker IMTE and the other ticker BBIG. Um, oftentimes you hear you know, these great traders talk about what is an A plus setup? What is a B minus setup? What is a C minus setup? And I feel like the newbie, you yourself, you probably don't know, you probably don't have that same perspective that we have. So I quite literally wanna show you guys on a chart the difference between an A plus and a B minus setup. Um, really, is it a B minus? Do I categorize them? No, I'm just really saying, you know, this is exceptional in terms of liquidity, in terms of trend, in terms of pattern recognition, and this other one has fallacies. It's fraught with risk. There are imperfections. Um, that's what's gonna make something a B plus. If you wanna call it B plus, a C minus, a D minus, an F, something you shouldn't trade, that's fine too. Um, so the example we have today in front of us is IMTE. Um, a couple people, you know, I saw them talking about it in some chat rooms about it being a first red day, right? Generally, when we're looking for a first red day stock, we're looking for something to, you know, have this continuous movement, this, you know, consecutive green days, day after day after day, uptrending. And you definitely do have that slight nuance here. You have multiple green days in a row. You can see the stock has been spiking for the past week from four all the way to nine. And it's just a bunch of green days in a row. But there are a couple issues I have with wanting to trade this stock in the first place. And that first major thing is going to be liquidity. You can see down here that the volume that it's trading is very dismal. And that does a number of things to the stock. The first thing it does is it widens the spread. You know, you don't have a penny by penny spread on the bid and ask when you're looking at level two. You actually have like, you know, if the stock is trading, I saw it this morning, it was trading, you know, the bid was 820 and the ask was 850. So you have 30 cents in between the best bid and the ask. That is not a liquid stock. That is not a safe stock to trade. And you can experience, you know, a lot of manipulation in those uh, circumstances. The second thing is it's not a continuous, continuous, you know, uptrend. You can see throughout this, you know, throughout these multiple green days, there are days that it, you know, starts gapped down and then reverses and goes green. So the stock is showing us that it has the behavior. It has the tendency to open up red and go green. Ideally, a first red day does not open up red and then go green. That would be, you know, a situation where I'm cutting a loss. So if a stock is already telling me that it has a tendency to go green, I don't really want to trade it in the first place, right? So there's two fallacies that this stock has so far going for it. So it, it makes it so it's an imperfect setup and I don't care to trade this kind of stock. And we can see today, you know, just from, you know, based on what we just said, what do we expect? We expect this stock, if I have the previous day's closing line, so let me just go back one day. This is just a five minute chart. Let's just say the stock closed here. I'm not exactly sure where it closed. I don't really have that print on my, on my screen. Um, maybe it's down here, but we can all agree that this stock went red today and then, you know, with illiquid volume and then it went green, right? Um, let's compare what an actual A plus setup looks like to IMTE. You know, something with liquidity, something with continuous trends. So you can get that juxtaposition. The stock I'm going to bring up is BBIG. BBIG is a stock that has been, you know, spiking from $2.44 and it's now at $5. The first thing I want you guys to look at is this liquidity. This liquidity is through the roof. We are trading 175 million shares a day. Let's look back to IMTE. It's barely trading on its best day, um, you know, 2 million. Uh, on a normal day, 200 to 400,000 shares on a day. Um, so that's not continuous volume. That's not holding, uh, you know, this, this range of, of exciting volume. I need volume to size in. I need volume to get that price I want and not be scared of, you know, how this stock is going to jump a dollar in three seconds. That's what uh, a lack of liquidity allows for a stock to do. So BBIG, um, you know, lots of volume, great trend up from two all the way to five, just kind of, you know, a screaming, screaming stock. It's just really strong. 
you can see now we're kind of diverging from the trend. We got this nice gap up and, and move into the 550s. Um, so this is something I'd be very curious in shorting. I like the way that this stock is moving. I like this continual uptrend. I like it on volume. This is something that goes on my watch list as a potential first red day. Um, if you want to learn more about first red days, it is the pattern that I started trading on. It's the pattern that made me my first $100,000. It is my bread and butter setup. Um, it's something that I always look forward to trading. I'm very high conviction on them because I've traded, you know, a thousand, maybe 2000 of these over my career. Um, and I just know how they act. I know what to look for. I know exactly what the pattern looks like on the daily chart um, in terms of what fits my comfortability. So if you want to learn more about those, um, we have tons of examples in stock therapy. We go over um, twice a week. We go over our trades. We go over our entries and exits. So again, if you want a closer look as to how we actually deal with the intraday action, actually entering the stock and looking for an exit, that's a stock therapy thing. But for now, I hope you did learn something about just acknowledging, you know, liquidity. Just acknowledging like real volatility, right? BBIG, it has the chemical makeup to be something that is, you know, potentially profitable. Um, I can't say for sure, but it has, you know, less fallacies than something like IMTE, which for a number of reasons gives me the heebie-jeebies and it makes me not want to trade it. Um, so, you know, that's the lesson of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys, you know, do want to see more of these videos, again, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out Stock Therapy in the, in the description. We have tons of videos in Stock Therapy that are archived, different setups just like this, as well as other videos on YouTube. So definitely look through the catalog and you know click around, see how much you can learn. YouTube is a great place for everyone to become knowledgeable, whether it's just about stocks or just general information. The internet is literally at your fingertips and you should utilize that.